making contact. Uh, and they brought no beneficiary out right there for question number five. Jimmy Johnson pissed for a, a hole in his spoiler, actually, uh, lap 284. Green flag comes out lap 291, and then you restart. Uh, the race restarts at lap 292. Right front tire rub uh, by Martin Truex Jr. He, he's, he's reporting that at lap 293, and then of course Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 car. Kyle Larson bumps and runs past Clint Boyer for ninth place at lap 304. And of course a bump and run is the bump and the takeoff. Bump and run. <laughs> uh, question number six comes out, lap 311. Another crash, four cars this time. Jimmy Johnson again spins, goes into number 26, Jeb Burton, uh, and then... Uh, Kevin Harvick, he goes into David Reagan in the 18 car. Uh, this incident occurred in turn one. Harvick goes behind the wall for repairs. The 18 car goes into the 26 car as well. Uh, so, let you know about that. Yes. Now, of course, David Reagan filling in for Kyle Busch. Now, Kurt Busch, he gets popped for uncontrolled tire, and he winds up falling to 16th place. And uh, the race restarts at lap 325. Question number 7, lap 344. Debris in turn 1, Jimmy Johnson beneficiary, restart lap 350. And then uh, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Burton, they would both return to the race. Uh, Kevin Harvick returns at lap 358, Jeff Burton returns at lap 361. Eighth question of the day comes out at lap 367 for a crash. The uh, 42 car, which clipped the 40 car, the 40 car then goes into the 26 car, and then the 40 car goes into the wall. So Kyle Larson, the 42, Landon Castle, the 40 car, he got most of the damage. And then uh, Jeb Burton also goes into the wall as well. He winds up uh, going in for uh, repairs. Okay. And then uh, the restart. Oh. And uh, actually, Landon Castle, he actually had to go to the uh, uh, care center, and uh, he was released. Uh, now, the beneficiary from question number eight was Danica Patrick, and uh, Landon Castle, uh, he actually dropped out of the race. Uh, he was actually the first driver to drop out of the race, so he made it pretty far. Uh, so, and uh, of course, you get a little nervous when they get sent to the care center, you know, because... You know, racing is pretty dangerous. Uh, exciting, but, you know, you always get a little nervous when uh, someone gets sent to the uh, care tag. Uh, you get even more nervous when the ambulance comes out, okay? <laughs> that, but still. So, uh, and then the, uh, so the re re race restarts at lap 381, okay? Then you get question number nine. Now, question number nine would come out at lap 473, Another crash, this one involving the 15, the 98, and the one car. Jay McMurray, number one car, he blows a tire, goes into the wall. And then Josh Weiss, the 98 car, uh, he goes into McMurray, uh, the number one car. But then the 15 car, Clint Boya, he gets into both of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Danica Pactor spins. Okay. Eric Jones spins. Remember, he's in the 11 car. And then Stenhouse Jr., he's he gets a piece of the action as well. So you had a, a little uh, a ballet, if you will. Uh, Clint Boyer's crew per, uh, penalized for uncontrolled tires, uh, lap 479. David Reagan gets popped going too fast on pit road, lap 482. And then the green flag comes out, lap 480. And then the restart, lap 481. Question number 10, lap 44 for another crash. This one between Almondinger, Stewart, and Casey Kane and some others. Uh, Tony Stewart gets into Casey Kane, okay, the 14 and the 5 car. Then Almondinger, Truex Jr., and Casey Mears, they get collected, 47, 78, and 13 car, respectively. Uh, so that was another one. Now Truex Jr., he gets popped going too fast on pit road, lap 489. And Alan Dager posted and brought to pit road. Oh, for dropping oil. Posted means you know your car has to go in because uh, NASCAR sees there's something wrong with your car, so you got to bring that car in. So they pick you out. And say hey, dropping oil, water. So yeah, uh, he had to go in for that. AJ Alan Dager 
in the 47 car. And then the green flag comes out lap 491, restart lap 492. Question number 11 will come out lap 493. And um, it's always funny because you always get towards the end of the races. That's when you get all your crashes for the most part. <laughs> okay, Maybe you get one or two during the meat and potatoes of the race. But then when you get to the, towards the end, then it's like bang, bang, bang. And of course, they're on, a, on, the, on the short track last weekend. And, and next weekend, too, this week, uh, coming the weekend, they're at a short, short track again as they head to Richmond. And we'll get to that in a moment. So question number 11, this one was for uh, Carl Edwards, the 19 car. He loses it as, Je as Jeff Gordon passes. Uh, he he almost got clipped, but, uh, right? But Kurt Busch, he's the one that got collected. So his uh, 19 car and the 41 car, others involved too. LJ was involved, Paul Menard. Uh, so that was lap 493. David Reagan too fast on pit road, lap 499. Paul Menard, too fast on pit road, lap 500. Pace car brings uh, the cars to pit road again. So you had actually, how many red flags were there? This is three red flags right now. Another red flag comes out for rain. This one, 1016 Eastern time. Uh, the pace cars come out and then the towel calls the pace car to bring the cars uh, into the uh, pit road again. That was actually, now by this time, you're already at lap 506. <laughs> okay. Lap 506. So they bring the red flag out again, uh, and that was at 1016 Eastern Time. And then they finally bring it back to, bring the yellow back out at, at 1023. All right. And then this, again, will, uh, of course, force a green-white checkered. Uh, only one attempt for the green white checkered white flag comes out lap 511 and then uh, wraps up the finish Matt Kenseth from the pole Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon first second third and the race finally finished at 1025 now I have 1025 and 1028 because I have my tablet that I keep that I get updates uh, as I'm watching the race, and the tablet said 10:25, the cable box said 10:28, so I said, "All right, 10:25." I'll just say 10:25, okay? Uh, so we'll do that. All right. So as mentioned, last so action now heads to yet another short track. Uh, so you had a, some back-to-back -back short track action coming coming at you. If you will, this weekend's interesting. This weekend's gonna be fun because you have Friday night racing and then you have Saturday night racing, and I love Saturday night racing. So, uh, and so just so you know, so the Xfinity Series race is Friday evening, okay, and uh, I believe it's at seven thirty on Fox Sports One, and then the uh, Sprint Cup event is on Saturday evening at seven o'clock, and that is on Fox. Uh, just to let you know about that. So uh, this co coming weekend, the action returns, returns to the mother of states, the Commonwealth of Virginia, this time to Richmond International Raceway, located at Hen Henrico County, Virginia. Capacity is 97,912, opened in 1946. Surfaces asphalt, length is 0.75 miles, number of turns 4, bankings at the corners 14 degrees, at the front stretch 8 degrees, and at the back stretch it is 2 degrees. Lap bracket 15.3197 seconds at 176.244 miles per hour by Sam Hornish Jr., Team Penske, 2005 Indy Car. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the moment you've been waiting for. The Racing Podcast presents this weekend's racing schedule. This Friday evening is the this week's Xfinity event, Friday, April 24th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It is the Toyota Care 250 with 250 laps scheduled. 
Then on Saturday evening, it's this week's Sprint Cup event. Saturday, April the 25th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Fox and MRN. It, it's the Toyota Owners 400 with 400 laps scheduled and both events from Richmond. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a little quick break and we'll come back. It's the driver standing segment, the racing podcast continues. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Racing Podcast, and we are back. So let's get to it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? The uh, sprint, the driver standing segment, and we'll uh, start with the Sprint Cup driver standings. Boy, I took a week, two weeks off, and I'm out of the loop. I gotta get, gotta get. I get in the zone. <laughs> anyway, you want to catch the racing podcast? Spreaker.com Thursdays at 7.05. Live broadcast recording. You can also catch it on demand anytime at Spreaker.com. Use hashtag sports. You can actually use hashtag sports for the live broadcast recording. And you can also use it for on demand listening as well. You can also use hashtags racing, hashtag news, hashtag talk. So uh, just to let you know about that. So, let's get to the uh, driver standings, and then uh, and then we'll recap the schedule at the end of the uh, program. Alright, let's get to it. So, the Sprint Cup driver standings, top 10 as follows. First place, Kevin Carvick in the number 4 car, 314 points, current leader. Second place, Joey Logano in the 22 car, 284 points and 30 points back. Third place is Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 car, 281 points and 33 points back. Fourth place, Jimmy Johnson in the 48 car, 258 points and 56 points back. Fifth place is Brett Keselowski in the, the number two four. Now number two car, 258 points, 56 points back. Fifth place, Brad Keselowski in the number two car, 255 points, 59 points back. Sixth place is Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88 car, 241 points, 73 points back. Seventh place, Casey Kane in the number five car, 237 points and 77 points back. Eighth place, Matt Kenseth in the number 20 car, 236 points and 78 points back. Ninth place, Jeff Gordon in the 24 car, 227 points and 87 points back. And in 10th place, Eric Almarola in the 43 car, 226 points and 88 points back. From 11th through 15th place, in order, Denny Hamlin, Jamie McMurray, Danica Patrick, Paul Menard, and Carl Edwards. 16th through 20th place in order. Ryan Newman, Clint Boyard, David Reagan, Casey Mears, and Greg Biffle. And 21st through 25th place in order. Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson, Rick Stenhouse Jr., and A.J. Almendinga. Alright, now ladies and gentlemen... It's time for the Xfinity Series driver standings, top 10 as follows. 
First place, Chris Bosha in the number 60 car, 258 points, current leader. Second place, Ty Dillon in the number 3 car, 258 points, also current leader. So you got two guys right there tied for the leader position. Third place is Chase Elliott in the number 9 car, 246 points and 12 points back.